The Starter Video Podcast. Welcome to this week's Starter Video Podcast brought to you by startervideo.co.uk. I'm your host, Danny Lacey. Now, these podcasts are handy for marketing or business owners that want to know what works. Top tips on video and marketing. So let's get going with this week's podcast and top five tips to making a successful video. Let's go. So we know the importance of video, but what about the importance of what actually goes into creating said video? There's more to it than you might think, and there are lots of different factors to be considered that will intertwine and make your video the best it can be. We've summed up the five main elements that all work together to create engaging and thought-provoking videos. And I've also thrown in a bonus one there at the end. Script. Don't be fooled into thinking that scripts are only necessary for blockbuster movies and drama TV. A script is the backbone of your video and will help you determine what is going to happen and how it will stay engaging the whole way through. Having a script will also give you an estimate of how long your video will be. One page of script is usually equivalent to one minute of footage, as long as you're not using really tiny fonts. It is during this stage that you can think about the tone and style of your video and what exactly the main focus of it is. Is it to promote your product, showcase your new facilities to potential clients, highlighting the services your company provides? Whatever it is, you need to know what you want from the beginning so that you can develop your ideas throughout the different pre and post production stages. The pre production is all the planning call sheets, organisations and the actual filming. Post-production is where we take all the filming and edit it together with music and voiceover and, and all that sort of stuff. Storyboard. The storyboard is where you start to visualise your shots and see how your video will progress. It's basically hand-drawn images of what you want in a shot. The camera angle, dialogue that relates to that scene, etc, etc. This means you can start linking the script to the storyboard. If your script talks about your customer satisfaction rating, then your storyboard might show an image of a satisfied customer in one of your stores. At the same time, you will hear that piece of voiceover. Storyboarding is crucial and without it you will find that when you come to film it is a lot more stressful than it actually needs to be. It's all about preparation. It's unlikely that you will follow your storyboards down to the T when actually on set but it's always good to have some rough guidance that can save you a lot of time on the day. You don't want to have to go back to film something three days later because you didn't include it in your storyboard. Cinematography. Basically, this is the actual footage being filmed, whatever is happening in front of the camera. The camera operator is known as the cinematographer. Your footage might have a certain style depending on what your video is about, and this needs to be established beforehand so you know exactly what type of shots you want. This links to the storyboard, as you will have planned whether you want low angle shots, tracking shots, or just a simple two shot depending on the content. It's important not to forget about how important the camera footage is and that the cinematographers know what type of framing you want. Don't leave it until five minutes before filming starts to brief them on how you want everything to look. Recipe for disaster. Graphics. If you know you want graphics in your video, the style of them and the way they look needs to be thought about during the planning stages. They will have to fit with the rest of your video's visual style. They shouldn't just be an afterthought, ever. You might want graphics throughout your video or just at certain points to explain something more clearly or make something more interesting. The use of graphics can make a real difference to your video, usually in a positive way. However, bad planning could mean that you don't end up with the style you're after, which could slow down the post-production process dramatically. Don't let this happen to you. Sound. Sound is the backbone of your video and brings all the footage together. Sound is literally 50% of your video. It sets the tone and keeps it engaging. The sound design is a lot more important than some people realise and bad sound can really deteriorate the quality of your video. Be warned. If you are using voiceover, music or sound effects, these all come under the sound design element and will usually be delivered when the picture is locked or nearly finished. Throughout the video production process there are lots of different elements that all work together in creating the final product. 
We think these are the five most important, but every video is different. Just be sure to keep these in mind on your video ventures. Bonus tip. Reverse engineer your video before you go anywhere near a video production company. Think about what you want your video to achieve for your business. Is it sales, traffic to the website, launching a new product, filming a new event? Think about that before you go anywhere near making a video. Don't just create a video for the sake of creating a video that's gonna sit on your website and gather dust forevermore. Reverse engineer, and a video production company should also be able to help you with that. Take that tip and run with it. So that's it for this episode. Hope you found that useful. And if you missed anything, don't worry. We have it all on the blog over on our website, startavideo.co.uk. Also, never miss an episode of future podcasts. So subscribe right now. Go do it. Thank you for listening to this episode of the podcast. I'm your host, Danny Lacey, and I'll be back with you guys next time. The Starter Video Podcast. Helping businesses and marketeers achieve their goals. <laughs>